On a new morning, the sky was grey above the university, reflecting the state Alia was living in. In the cold morning, her steps were heavy as she made her way to the lecture hall. Her mind was burdened with worries, Adele's long absence, the difficulty of reaching him, and above all, the tension that had started seeping into her life. When Alia entered the lecture hall, it felt like everyone was staring at her. She sat in her usual spot, took out her books and papers, but her mind was elsewhere. Alia, are you with us? Those were the words of Dr. Khaled, the course professor. She quickly raised her head, realizing he was asking her a question from the lecture. She hadn't heard the question as her mind was in another place. I'm sorry, Professor Khaled. Could you repeat the question? She said with a shaky voice. The professor smiled sadly. I was asking for your opinion on the point regarding the social responsibility of the law. I think you have a unique perspective on this topic. Alia tried to gather her thoughts quickly. She knew the answer, but she couldn't articulate it clearly. I believe that the law plays a crucial role in shaping individuals' responsibilities towards society, but she paused for a moment, feeling the pressure. But I'm not sure if this is where my focus should be. She felt some eyes turning toward her, but she ignored them. Her mind was crowded with thoughts of Adele and what was happening in his life. Outside the lecture hall, she encountered Lamia, one of her classmates who had always competed with her. Lamia knew Alia was going through a tough time, but didn't hesitate to try and undermine her. It seems that Adele's long absence is affecting your studies, Alia, Lamia said with a malicious smile. You were always at the top, but I've noticed you're falling behind. Alia remembered Adele's words to her once. True strength lies in a person's ability to stand up again. The soul may weaken, but it doesn't break as long as there's someone who believes in it and helps rebuild its walls. Alia smiled bitterly, but replied firmly, Success isn't measured only by grades, Lamia. Sometimes we need to face challenges greater than you can understand. She knew this wasn't just her battle with Lamia, but a battle within herself. Adele's absence had cast a shadow over everything in her life, even her studies, and she felt as if she were walking through a never-ending maze. In the library, Alia sat alone, trying to focus on the stack of law books in front of her. But each time she tried to read, her thoughts crept back into her mind. She constantly wondered, Is Adele okay? Will he return soon? What if I never see him again? She lifted her head for a moment, feeling tears welling up in her eyes. She felt helpless, torn between her academic life and her constant worry about Adele. She wanted to succeed, but she felt like something was pulling her back. Alia, don't give up now, she whispered to herself. She had to be strong, not only for Adele, but also for herself. Adele loved poetry, and from time to time he would recite verses to her during their chats. She remembered his words, we smile because we know life doesn't wait for the sorrowful and we move forward because we believe the light still hides within the folds of the darkness. The hardest battles are those we fight in silence and the greatest victories are the ones no one sees. Alia decided to face her challenges at university differently. She began reviewing her lectures more seriously and regaining her focus. She knew life wouldn't wait for her, and she had to find a balance between supporting Adele and continuing her life. When she faced Lamia again in the lecture hall, she decided not to let her words affect her. Lamia, if you think my success depends on my current circumstances, you're mistaken. True success is facing all challenges and succeeding despite them. Lamia couldn't reply and simply smiled awkwardly. In that moment, Alia felt something change within her. She knew the road ahead wouldn't be easy, but she no longer felt weak. On the other side, while Adele was wandering on a cloudy and dark day around the island of emotions, he felt the weight of despair surrounding him. Thoughts clashed in his mind, and it seemed as if the clouds had gathered to cast a shadow over his heart. But suddenly he noticed a beam of light shining in the distance, guiding him toward a bright place. There, between the hanging vines, appeared hope, a luminous being that shimmered as if it carried all the stars within. It had a radiant golden glow, and its eyes sparkled with life. Adele approached his anxiety, slowly fading away. Hope spoke in a soft yet powerful voice. 
Hello, Adele. I am here to help you see the light in the heart of darkness. Hope is what illuminates the path in times of adversity. Adele smiled with curiosity. But how can I be optimistic when I feel lost? It's as if I'm trapped between my dreams and emotions and a reality I can't change. Hope replied with enthusiasm. Faith is the key to relief. Every challenge holds an opportunity. You must see difficulties as chances to learn and grow. Hope is the spark that ignites the creativity within you, allowing you to overcome obstacles. Hope shared stories of its life, where it faced many challenges but always looked to the future with optimism. Its stories were full of deep meaning, illustrating how every disappointment was an opportunity to strengthen its faith and will. Adele, now feeling warmth in his heart, asked, But what if the circumstances are more complicated? How can I achieve my ambitions and stay true to my feelings for Alia? Hope smiled and answered, You must believe that every step you take carries meaning. The road may be long, but you won't walk it alone. Hope is the companion that will keep you moving forward even when you feel stuck. Adele felt a surge of inspiration flowing through his veins and understood that hope didn't mean ignoring reality but believing in the possibility of change. Hope's energy began to seep into his heart, making him feel a new strength, pushing him to face his challenges. As Adele reflected, he realized that hope was what he needed to continue his journey toward achieving his dreams and overcoming the obstacles standing in his way to love and happiness.